Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Gadgetuse.com and today we are going to do the quick unboxing and quick review of the Geoni S Plus which we have got with us. This is the latest phone from Geoni which is coming for a price of approximately 18,000 rupees. It comes with good specification for the price but not great I would say because there is a lot of competition out there in the market. So let's start with the unboxing and the first thing which we see inside the packaging is the Geoni S Plus which looks very stylish and sporty. In terms of the look and feel, this is one of the most premium looking phone I would say at a price of 18,000 rupees. However, it has got a back cover which is glossy in nature, which will get a fingerprints and scratches very easily. Some other package contents include the charger. We have got a 2 ampere charger within the package which is definitely better and it is small as well in terms of the overall form factor. There is a USB-C cable inside because this phone interestingly has got USB-C port and there are good quality of in-ear headphones which are coming within the package of this phone which is also good again for the price the kind of headphones they are delivering is good and they have also taken care of the packaging in a very nice way they have packaged these headphones in a very good way they have also provided you a silicon back cover so that the glossy back cover on this phone does not get any scratches so in case you would like to have that thing as intact from the beginning you should use this silicon back cover which will make sure that the look and feel of the phone is not affected and it is also not affected in with day to day usage we also get a screen guard which comes within the package there are some user set manuals as well which again have basic set of instructions but they do have SAR values also mentioned and they also tell you how much warranty Geoni provides on the charger and other things apart from the phone the last thing which come in the package is the battery and you get a 3150 mAh battery inside the package which is sufficient to give this device one day of battery backup as per the usage which we have done with it. It can give this device one day of battery backup easily. The phone looks very stylish on the front top you get metallic earpiece and the front camera within the bezel. You also get touch capacitor button within the bezel of the phone. They are not within the display which is definitely better. As far as display is concerned the display is one of the best you can get at this price point and it is very colorful. In terms of the color production it is good. Viewing angles are also nice and the overall brightness of the display is good as well. In terms of day to day usage you can also use the phone in sunlight. So sunlight visibility of the phone is also good. The back side is again glossy which looks looks very stylish and sporty but you will have to protect it with the silicon back cover which come within the package and that's how it will remain like this for longer time and the overall look and feel of the phone is will not be affected in that case you get a 13 megapixel camera at the back with led flash so there is no dual tone or true tone led flash on the edges you get the power and sleep key and the volume rocker both of these buttons are plastic buttons and they give you good amount of feedback as far as the version of Android is concerned, it comes with Android Lollipop 5.1 preloaded and you have a custom UI layer which is running on top of Android. Storage wise, it has 16 GB of internal storage out of which 5 GB is used and you will get approximately 8.79 GB available to the user where you can install application and have some games over there. As far as RAM is concerned, RAM is a good thing of this device because you get 3 GB of RAM for 18,000 rupees and out of which 2 GB of RAM is available. There are some pre-installed applications which are also there but you can uninstall these applications and reclaim the storage. As far as the overall wing angles of the display are concerned, they are good. You can see the display from extreme angles which is definitely a good thing. The overall form factor of the phone is good. So we are coming up with a separate camera review, gaming and benchmark review and a full review of this phone later. This is just the unboxing and quick overview of the Geoni S Plus. In case you have any queries and questions, please leave them in the comment section below. You can like this video, this should help you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you